What's up, navigation traders? Hope everybody had a great week of trading. Welcome to this week's video update. Today's Friday, January 5th. I hope you are enjoying all of the new course training that you got in your members area now as a pro member. So getting a lot of good feedback from members, so I'm glad that is helpful. Let's, uh, let's jump into the alerts for this week. So starting on Tuesday, remember New Year's Day was on Monday, so short week of trading. First trade was on Tuesday, January 1st, where we opened a short strangle in FXI. So if we go to the platform, take a look at FXI, still pretty centered within our range here. No profit or loss, just waiting for some more time to pass, as well as some contraction in implied volatility to benefit that piece. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in Nat Gas. So we closed out the put vertical side of our iron condor price breached our upside break even so we closed out the untested side so we're still holding that call vertical side and as i mentioned we're still holding the other full iron condor as well so if we take a look at natty gas here's what we got here so if we take a look at just the just that call side that was that alert there so you can see so price came up and breached our upside break even and since that alert price has come all the way back into our range so we just need a little bit more time to pass or a little bit more down movement and we'll book that piece for a profit the other piece that we have on is the full iron condor and you can see price still well within our range need a little bit of an up move on this piece to uh, before we book a profit on that one so hopefully we book a profit on both of these pieces get a little bit of back and forth and, uh, and then we, we might potentially be at a natty gas. Although, if we look at UNG, which is the corresponding ETF, um, first of all, today they did kind of the reverse split on these, on these symbols that have a, a drag to them. Uh, and if the price gets too low, then they'll reprice it. So you can see it went from $6 up to 22. Well, it, it, it's all priced relative, in other words, if, if you were long this, you didn't make a bunch of money and, and vice versa. But what I wanted to show you was simply the implied volatility in that gas is, is up near 100. So with that high volatility, we'll, st we'll still continue to want to sell premium in that gas. So if we take one off, we'll probably be adding another one to continue to play in that because we're getting such good credits uh, for selling premium in that gas at this point. Remember, you, you got to use UNG as the uh, symbol to look at to figure out what your uh, implied volatility is, because if you look at it on the actual futures, uh, that's not an accurate reading. So make sure you're looking at UNG for that. Next trade was a closing adjusting trade in wheat. So we closed out one of our iron condors, booked about a 40%, uh, over 40% of max profit on that piece. Now we still have, uh, if we take a look at wheat, we still have two other iron condors on, one of which was a, an alert I'll address uh, here in a bit, but this is, our, this is our other one. And so we need a little bit of down movement in wheat to benefit this piece. And then another alert we sent out this week was adding another iron condor. Uh, in fact, this, this alert was today. And you can see it's still very centered, uh, nothing to do in that one. So. Working our way back uh, nicely in wheat. Next trade was a, a rolling adjusting trade in XRT. So we had an adjusted strangle, which ends up being a straddle because it's at the same strike. It's a 44 put, 44 call. So we simply rolled that from January to February. We kept our strikes the same. Uh, with 16 days left to January, uh, to expiration in January, remember on these especially on these uncovered options like strangles and straddles. Once we get under that 21 days to expiration, the risk or the gamma really starts to accelerate. So we want to we want to lower that risk by rolling out to the next expiration cycle. So we rolled out to February. And then, as I mentioned, we're also holding the other strangle, the 4348 in February. IV percentile in XRT continues to stay high. So again, it's another good trading vehicle right now. If we take a look at XRT, so what we've got here, here's the, here's the one that we just put on. So you can see price is still very centered. 
and then the the other strangle which I'm showing here as uh, as a as a uh, theoretical position but reason being is because I'm transitioning the alerts to a new account and so this is this trade is actually on but for this purpose so I don't have to switch platforms in the, in the middle of this recording I'm just showing you this uh, theoretical trade but I've got the price locked in at the actual trade we got filled at and as you can see it uh, price is hanging out up here near our upper side of our range so we need a little bit of down movement in XRT to benefit that piece next trade was uh, opening trade in SPX so we put on a calendar IV percentile of time was five it's gotten down even lower with the market moving up and uh, so if we take a look at SPX uh, and again this is another one that we're transitioning to the new new account so I'm showing it uh, theoretical but this is the actual price that we're filled at and that we are in the trade at uh, you can see price has moved all the way up through our break-even I was trying to get filled on an adjustment this afternoon never got filled so we will look to potentially add another calendar on here in SPX just like we teach in the course uh, to make that adjustment so look for that uh, first thing on Monday next trade was an opening trade in uh, Alibaba and so what we did here is this is a pre earnings long strangle so a lot of times for these pre earnings trades like this when we're just trying to capture that increase expansion in implied volatility we'll do a long straddle in this case based on where the strikes were and the pricing we actually uh, widened that out a little bit did the 185 180 and we did a long stra uh, long strangle so if we take a look at Baba and again this is one that we are move transitioning to the new account as well so um, what you can see here is we're already up about 200 bucks on the trade I was trying to get filled to get out of here uh, today didn't get filled so hopefully price stays higher and, and maybe we get a little bit of pop higher and a little bit more expansion implied volatility but this one will be coming off uh, potentially early next week as well for a nice profit total total buying power on this was eight hundred and twenty nine dollars so we're looking for about 20 25 percent profit and we are there so we'll be looking to manage that one as a winner uh, potentially Monday hoping it doesn't come down on us over the weekend next trade was a closing trade in Microsoft so we had a, a short put vertical on a bullish play in Microsoft booked a profit of about 60% of max profit there so that was a good trade and same thing in Starbucks we had a bullish trade on in Starbucks we booked for over 35% of max profit in that trade so that was another good one next trade was a closing adjusting trade in DIA so we had a an iron condor on in the diamonds we uh, uh, price breached our upside break even so we closed out the put vertical side we closed out the untested side just like we teach in our course uh, IV percentile at that time was at about 24 it's gone down a little bit since then so now we're just holding the call verticals so if we take a look at DIA you can see we've got two call verticals on both of which have moved out of our range at this point really what we're looking for is just holding this to to remain uh, to keep some short Delta in our portfolio uh, these January options have how many days do they have left they've got 14 days so next week uh, unless we get a big move down or even if we do get a big move down in the market uh, we'll be rolling these uh, from January to February so we'll look for that at some point probably later next week we're in no rush I mean if we get a if we get a nice down move that's gonna help our portfolio uh, but remember we always want to keep a short bias on our portfolio now with the with the extension of the market that we've seen to the upside I mean look at this thing this thing is just super strong um, with that I mean we've we've naturally acquired additional short Delta so we are a little bit more short biased in our overall alerts portfolio than I like to be uh, but we'll address that next week by either adding in some long Delta with new positions or lessening our overall short exposure but that's just kind of the nature of it when you're when you're playing these market neutral trades as the market moves sometimes you'll get a little bit more short bias sometimes you'll be a little bit more long bias uh, but we want to make those make those adjustments so we don't get too overweighted in one direction 
and we're a little bit overweighted uh, in, in to the short side right now, but we'll uh, we'll address that next week. Next trade was a closing trade in forward slash ZN, which is the 10 year note. So we had a short strangle on. Uh, we had this on, we put this on just 10 days ago and we booked a profit today of around 30% of max profit in just 10 days. So that was a nice, nice trade. Uh, this is another one of those when we're trading a futures that we have to use the corresponding ETF, which in this case is TLT. So if you look at TLT, you can see we got that nice contraction in implied volatility the last couple days, gave us the opportunity to, to book, that, uh, book that quick profit. And lastly, we had an opening adjusting trade in forward slash ZW, which is the wheat futures. And I already went over that, but this is where we added that additional iron condor on in wheat. So now we've got the two iron condors. This is the one we just added today. So obviously still very centered and we'll continue to monitor and manage that as needed. Let's go over some of the other positions that we have on. We've got in the forward slash ES, which is the S&P 500 futures. We've got a couple call verticals. Again, with this strong market, they've moved up out of our range, but we'll look to roll those next week. Uh, again, we've got about four, we've got 14 days left to expiration on those. So we'll look to uh, roll and adjust those next week. Uh, Nat gas, I went over that. Soybeans. In soybeans, we've got a couple of different positions. So we've got uh, this, uh, let me reset this so I can uncheck some of these. So we've got this uh, short put vertical. So we need a little bit of up movement to benefit this piece. The February options have 21 days. So we've still got a lot of time in there. Got uh, over two weeks before we'll look to potentially roll that. And then we've got our full iron condor, which is in March. And that's still very centered, so nothing to do there. I uh, went over Baba Costco. So this is uh, interesting. So even with this strong market, Costco did not participate. In fact, it was down almost three quarters of a percent today. If we take a look at the chart, you know, as long as it's staying above that 185 level, we're gonna we're gonna let this continue to play out. Uh, but we just need a little bit of a move up to about, you know, kind of retest the highs there and we'll book a profit in Costco. If we get a close below that 185 level, we'll probably cut our, cut our losses on this. We initially put this on as a post earnings short put vertical where after earnings, you can see price jumped up above its expected move. And a lot of times it'll, it'll grind sideways to higher. In this case, had a little bit of dip came back and it's just kind of hanging out here. So we'll continue to watch and monitor Costco. DIA I talked about, EWW. So this is the Mexican ETF. We got in this when uh, implied volatility popped above 50. Uh, it's had a decent move up. If it continues higher into next week, we'll make an adjustment by rolling up the untested side. Uh, but as for right now, we're just waiting for a little bit of a down move in EWW to benefit that one. FXI, uh, we've got that strangle here. I think I already mentioned that one. IBM, so we were we were looking to get filled and take profits uh, when it was trading right around here at about $156. Uh, and then it made a huge move up pretty quick. Weren't able to get out, so we will, no need to manage or adjust this yet. Uh, but if it does continue to move higher into next week, we will roll up our untested side and then uh, and then we'll want to roll this out to February as well. IBM does have earnings coming out on 118, so uh, you know we we'll want to be aware of that. We've got some we've got some time before before that comes into play, but uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that. And then IWM, we have this uh, short call vertical, which was part of an iron condor, waiting for a little bit of a down movement there. If we don't get that into next week, we'll look to potentially roll this or add an additional iron condor if, if we get a little pop up in implied volatility. I mentioned the Qs, I mentioned SPX, XLU. So if we take a look at the analyze tab here, you can see we've got a, a decent little profit, uh, total buying power in this, almost 600 bucks. So we're looking for about a 25% profit on this. I was trying to get filled on this today, didn't quite get filled. 
So we will look to hopefully book a, a profit uh, first thing Monday morning in XLU. So that's all the alerts for the week and that's all the positions that we currently have on. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Look forward to a great week of trading next week. Have a good weekend. Talk to you soon.